So how would a pharmacist make 200 milliliters of a 6% weight per volume morphine solution? So in this example, we have weight per volume. So in the last couple, we had volume per volume or weight per weight. Um, the only difference here is, right, we're talking about grams in milliliters for our total volume. So again, you can set this up in a couple of ways. You can use proportions or you can use an equation. So if we want to use proportions, um, a 6% weight per volume solution means we want 6 grams of morphine per, right, percent is per 100, 100 milliliter solution. So, right, we've got our weight on the top and our volume on the bottom. So we know we've got weight per volume. And I want that to be, I want my new, solu my solution that I'm mixing up, my 200 milliliters to be in proportion, proportion to my 6 grams per 100. So it would be X morphine, and it would be, right, our, we, what we want our 200 milliliters solution. That's our new total volume. So solve this, uh, multiply, if you look, the milliliter solution is going to cancel, the morphine is going to cancel. Uh, if we have put grams here, the grams will cancel. But either way, um, it will work out the way we need it to work out. So uh, 200, multiply by 200 um, on both sides. Everything will cancel out except the 200 times 6 divided by 100, which boils down to 12 is our... X. So we need 12 grams morphine. Um, and then how much uh, of our diluent do we need? Well, well, we need 200 gram in to make 200 milliliters of solution. So 12 grams in 200 milliliters of solution, and there we go, we have the answer. So you could have also solved this with an equation, both ways work. Um, so we know 200 milliliters, we have a 6% weight per volume, so we need 200 milliliters of means times, right? So 6% weight for volume would mean 6 grams of morphine per 100 milliliters solution, right? There we go. We have our equation, and you would end up with 12 grams of morphine. And there you have it. So either way, whether you set up an equation or you use proportions, both ways work equally well.